Hello, Tansei. Good morning, everybody. I'm Dallas Arcan, and I'd like to welcome you to another version of Powwow Dance Aerobics. It's nice and bright and early. The sun is shining here, Friday morning. So happy Friday, everybody. And I hope you're all doing good out there. And here we are, another day, another version of Powwow Dance Aerobics. It's uh, always a good day when you can start your day how you want it and how you want to start your day is always on a, a good step forward. And um, I was up early this morning. I was up probably around, I think I got up at around six. Anyways, uh, I, I usually like to start the class around 7.30, but sometimes, sometimes I'm, you know, it takes a lot to actually prepare for this class on a daily basis. It's a big commitment to myself and, you know, like all the time, like, it's a lot of setup time, set up the camera, and set up the uh, the, the workspace. Because as you know, I'm broadcasting from my home, and you know, I share the space with my family members. So it's always a, a challenge to set things up. Hopefully, in the future, I'll have myself a, a studio or something like that. And um, I plan to actually build one in the future. And but for now, I'm just working with what I got. You know, from my home to your home. So that's just uh, proof in that itself that, you know, you can do this, you can work out in a small space. You don't need a gym, a fancy gym to do workouts. And that's the whole reason why I started uh, sharing this broadcast every day, because you can do it from your home. You know, like I don't have a lot of space here. I can literally touch the ceiling where I'm at. And, you know, I'm kind of surrounded here. This is my only space I get to clear out here. So anyways, with that said, I actually found a quote this morning that was, uh, it was quite funny because it, it reminded me of, of this one movie called Smoke Signals. Now, if you haven't watched the movie Smoke Signals and you're not familiar with the name Victor, every time somebody in, in, native, in, in native country or they call it Indian country, every time somebody hears the name Victor, they'll be like, Oh hey hey Victor. <laughs> uh, anyways, it comes from it comes from that back in the back in that movie. There's this character named um, Thomas, and he's always like, "Hey Victor, heard about your dad?" And uh, they're actually doing spoofs and memes about it. Uh, if you look online, you'll see smoke signals, memes, and stuff like that. Anyways, I just thought I would share that, uh, and I actually found a quote that was that reminded me of that. So today's quote, it's actually uh, written by John Wayne, uh, I found. And uh, natives and John Wayne, they kind of have this thing going on, you know, like they want to be cowboys and, you know, cowboys uh, and Indians, you know, they, they always play that theme. And uh, actually, John Wayne was pretty decent to native, to indigenous people from what I've seen on the movies. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but, you know, I'm, as far as I'm concerned, John Wayne was actually kind of a hero to cowboys and indigenous people. He kind of was like the peacemaker of, of the two. So anyways, the quote uh, I found was pretty pretty cool. It was a pretty uh, cool quote. And I always like to start out my, my classes with a quote because that gives you a little bit of a, a, little bit of a spark, a little bit of a, a, a light, light your fire, I guess, from the inside out and gives you that internal inspiration. So anyways, the quote goes, tomorrow is the most important thing in life. Comes to us at midnight, very clean. It's perfect when it arrives and puts itself into our hands. It hopes we've learned something from yesterday. So there you go, there's a John Wayne quote. And uh, if you watch the movie Smoke Signal, you'll hear those, uh, you'll see these natives, they'll, they'll be playing basketball and then they're uh, actually singing a song. They're like, they're like, John Wayne's teeth, John Wayne's teeth. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. Are they real? Are they fake? John Wayne's teeth. Hey, oh, hey, oh. Hey, hey, anyways, it's it so funny um, when you watch the movie because the movie is like, uh, if you really want to get a, a, a bird's eye view into the current of indigenous culture and where we're at as indigenous people, that movie is a great depiction of 
kind of the current, you know, because when I traveled in Europe, uh, I was not accepted as being an indigenous person because I didn't look like the encyclopedia version of an indigenous person, you know, like you see in the history books of, uh, of Sitting Bull or anybody like that, you know, I, I know I don't look like that. And I have a full Indian status card, I dance powwow, you know, my family is all indigenous and, you know, unfortunately I don't know my, my white side of my family, even though I'm mixed, but, you know, like, I experienced that a lot when I traveled in Europe and a lot of times they thought I was a, a Dutch or German trying to pretend to be an indigenous person and it used to annoy me because you know I, I grew up indigenous I grew up on the res I grew up around indigenous people and even then I wasn't really totally accepted because I was teased for looking white and um, you know I in the city I was too native and you know, the white people thought I was too different too, you know, so I was kind of caught in the middle. I guess that's the story of the Métis people that I thought I would share as well, because the Métis people kind of experience the same sort of things. Anyways, the reason why I do powwow dance aerobics though is, is all about health, wellness, and staying in shape, and also a good, good chance for us to have the conversation on a platform where we're engaged and in talking about indigenous themes specifically powwow because powwow is is actually kind of a, a, a cultured thing where we all gather together and and we come together in a circle and it's very beautiful so anyways uh, enough talking I, I I tend to talk a lot sometimes and uh, <laughs> yeah uh, I don't know uh, some people like it some people don't and somebody said the other day you talk too much and I'm like oh okay all right all good. All right, let's get dancing. Let's uh, let's do uh, a couple warm-up songs. Wow, that's a fast beat. So you gotta find the beat first before you actually get into it. So <laughs> good morning, everybody. Wow, that's a that's a fast beat. I can hear my buddy Kurt Young talking in the background. Okay. Okay, Kurt. Okay, right on, Kurt Young. <laughs> you guys got a chance to check out Kurt Young and the Healers. They're on every night on the pow social distance powwow. There's a good beat. Okay, there we go. I found it. Okay, if you're not familiar with the basic step, how we do it right left one two step right left one two step right and left and one two step then get your arms swinging this is like a total body workout that's why I call it powwow dance aerobics because we work the core muscles we're working the leg muscles we're working the arms even the head the, the neck because when they powwow dance a lot of head movement, a lot of everything. It's a total body workout, and it is definitely something worth trying if you haven't tried it yet. So, to all you newcomers, welcome. To all the regulars, thank you and welcome, and good morning again. Welcome to another version of Pow Wow Dance Aerobics. Bodies in motion means we're alive, we're living, we're well. Bodies not in motion and stagnation. Well, from what my life coach says, that means you're pretty much dead if you're not moving. So let's get moving and let's get grooving to the sounds of our beautiful drummers and singers live recorded from the powwow, courtesy of my good friend, Mr. Kurt Young. So this is all original recording. And I give props to those drum groups out there for always keeping it live and keeping us dancing and keeping us moving and grooving. So good morning everybody and welcome to another version of Pow Wow Dance Aerobics. Again, I'm your host, Dallas Arcan. Also a re reminder to everybody and, and also thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. 
trying to get to a thousand right now. We're almost there. We're about another 300 more subscriptions, and then we're almost there. So if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, check me out, Dallas Arcand on YouTube. Okay, there we go. There's the first song. Apologize for the bad internet connection. Don't really have a good internet connection out here. We're like old school here on the res. Sending smoke signals for internet. But anyways, I'm gonna post the video later. So thanks again for joining everybody. And I hope the internet signal is okay where you're at. Maybe someday I'll get a better signal, who knows? Anyways, thanks again for joining. Song number two. Let's do a step up now. Now that we've got, got our body moving, the first warm up song, let's step it up a notch and put a little bit more bounce into our step like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.
mix courtesy of Mr. Kurt Young recording various different live powwows here in Alberta. Now, uh, a lot of people at powwows, they go to, they go right up to the drum and they'll hold their recording device right next to the drum group. I've done it a lot of times, you know, and if you've ever been to powwows, you know what I mean? Uh, when everybody, whenever a drum group starts singing, like, especially a good drum group with a good beat, and a lot of people will go up to them and, and just record them. And the more popular the, the, the drum group, the more people are surrounded by them, just in a circle, they're surrounded by the drum, or they're surrounding the drummers and the singers as they're singing. And you just see a big crowd around them, you know, especially groups like Northern Cree or Bear Creek or Blackstone, Black Lodge, you know, just to name a few. Um, you know, I don't know all the groups, but I know quite a few of them. You know, there's uh, Walking Buffalo, there's Sega Scotch, there's uh, many different groups like Red Bull is one of the oldest legendary groups of them all. So anyways, now I would like to invite you into the meditation part, the stretching part and where we're going to, you know, breathe in and breathe out nice and good, nice and deep in through your nose, out through your mouth, and let's find that peaceful, relaxed state in which now that we've warmed up, we've done our grand entry songs, we've done our warm up. So the warm up is like doing a grand entry, you know, it's just starting out, just warming up, just getting that, that body moving and grooving, gets the blood pumping and flowing, the heart, the heart is pumping, and it's all about taking care of your heart and taking care of yourself as well and not overdoing it you know that's why we do a warm-up first and we take it slow and we just gradually build ourselves up and, and to that level that's what fitness is all about and understanding that you can look into understanding fitness or look up target heart rates because everybody's target heart rate is different depending on your age or depending on you know where you're at with your fitness level Either way, once you gradually work on that, that target heart rate, eventually you will get to that optimal target heart rate. And if you want to look it up online, you can Google that anytime. And I remember just seeing it in the gym while I was working out all the time, always studying that chart and looking at it at different ages. So my age, 41, my heart rate, uh, target heart rate level is about 120 BPMs, beats per minute. So um, somewhere in that range is my target heart rate even about 130 I can hit and my resting heart rate is a lot different than my my active heart rate you know where I'm I'm just peaking at the at the very top so anyways it's all about the heart and uh, you know understanding that and breathing is part of that as well so you need that oxygen to oxygenize your blood so now that our heart is pumping, we've established that warm up, our blood is flowing, our everything is, is just working. And now we're we're illuminated. We're like a light switch, we're on now after we've done that warm up. So now I'd like to get into the stretching phase of things. So remember, the breath is really important. So remember to breathe in through your, your nose and out through your mouth nice and calm and that's how I'm able to talk while I'm dancing because I've trained myself over the years to do that so one of the things that you must learn before you get into singing dancing or anything is just breathing like even archery you have to learn how to breathe like when you're when you're you know pulling back the, the bow and you're you're waiting to take your shot it's all about the timing of the breath you know or if you're into you know shooting or whatever into stuff like that or any kind of sport you have to learn how to breathe or even yoga yoga they teach you how to breathe so stuff like that you know just stuff to consider is you know being able to breathe and consistently hold in that breath and consistently exhale at a, at a proper level so now let's get into some stretches i start out small by stretching out the wrist this helps relieve any pressure or any strain you may have might have caused on your on your wrists and if you work on a computer or with your hands this is a good one to start out with uh, get those those wrists nice and loose and work out those kinks and then from there we go with small circles 
and then eventually get bigger and bigger. And those help loosen up and help the circulation go through the arms and into the fingers, into the nerve endings and all that. You know, I'm no doctor or anything like that, but I do know my stuff. I've been working out and doing work, this type of workout for the past 30 years or so, or well, not quite 30 years, maybe about 25 years. I started doing this when I was very young and I've been educating myself ever since. So left over right, right over left. That helps open up the chest plate, loosen up the shoulders and gets all that moving. So the next one we're going to do is our, our tricep muscle and our shoulder muscle. Keep the arm nice and straight, pull it towards your chest. You should feel that, that one's a good one to loosen up things in that area. And same thing for this side. And typically you wanna do about 10 seconds per stretch on every stretching point that you're doing in your stretch routine. So the next one is lock your fingers together, try to pull them apart, but don't actually pull them apart. And you should feel that nicely stretch in the back of your shoulder blades and give it a nice twist like this back and forth. And you should feel that in your lower back and your hips and your lower lumbar area. And uh, that sort of stretches out that area and that feels good, you know, like I, feel a big difference when I stretch every day. Okay, next one is the neck. Then we're gonna work on the neck stretch. So this one, you just let the weight of your head do this one, you don't need to force it. And that's why I say like, you know, before we stretch, we have to warm up because warming up is important. You need to warm up those muscles. You don't wanna stretch cold because you can actually do more harm than good. So next one is chin to your chest and you wanna go left to right and every once in a while you, you hear a little click in your body don't be alarmed don't worry about it it's just your body realigning itself you know some days i'm, I'm a little out of line a little out of alignment and uh, i notice i get clicks and and whatever I, my back is like click 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 and that's probably because of the strain i put on myself throughout the day and the beauty about working out in the morning and stretching is that it prepares you for the day so I just thought I would share that anyways here we go here's the next stretch and this is continuing on the next stretch hand on your shoulder lean away from it and that gives you a little bit more deep intense stretch on your deltoid area and your shoulder and your neck all at once same thing for this side you know feels good though and stretching actually helps promote good blood flow in the body and, and your nervous system, everything like that. And working out and stretching helps with your di digestive system. And, you know, it just all does all good for you, you know, because you're shaking up your body and your body is like, you know, it needs that. It needs that little bit of movement to move things through. And there's three ways of removing toxins in your body. So the first two, you already know. I need to talk about that, but the third one is sweating. So when you sweat, you're releasing the toxins in your body. And that's a beautiful thing when you can relieve those toxins and release those toxins in your body and detoxify yourself in a way by doing that. So anyways, we're gonna continue on with the rest of the stretching routine. Basically, I do this the same pretty much every day because consistency is the mother of skill. And if you ever want to get results in life, you have to make that consistent effort and commitment to yourself, to your goals, to everything like that. And same thing with fitness goals. In order to see results or get results, you have to be able to give that consistent effort. So anyways, continuing on, aim this elbow to your knee. Oh, I found the click. I don't know if you heard that, but that was a little click in my back, so I must have needed that one. And doing these stretches will definitely save many appointments to the chiropractor or the massage therapist. You know, I'm not, I haven't really got a lot of massages in my life because I don't know, I just feel weird. I feel like somebody's tickling me. So I've always felt like taking care of myself, uh, felt like what I've been doing is working just fine, stretching, exercising. You don't need any of that. So anyways, cheers. Let's have a quick water break. Make sure to drink lots of water. 
because 85% of our body is water. We're made of water, you know, like especially for the woman, the women are a little bit more than the men. The men are, uh, you know, a couple, couple uh, percentages back. So the women are may maybe like 89% water and men are like 85%. So it's just that much of a difference. All right, so we're gonna continue on. We're gonna focus on uh, on the feet and work our way back up and into our body. So the next one is the ankle stretch. This one you just do some nice circles around your ankle, back and forth, left and right. And that helps loosen up that joint because that's where we get the most pressure throughout the day is in our ankles. You know, like this one really helps me because I do a lot of yard work throughout the day. And by doing these stretches, you're basically preparing yourself to prevent injury and strengthening strengthening the different parts in your body by doing this on a regular basis. And you know, how I got into this was, I, I too was, was injured and uh, I used to work this one job. Uh, it required a lot of physical, physical heavy lifting and stuff like that. And I ended up hurting myself because I didn't prepare for it and that's that's what I learned and I learned that in the process that rehabilitation is the best medicine you know because when I first got injured the doctors tried to prescribe me a whole bunch of pills and stuff like that and they worked for a while and it was only a temporary solution but it never actually fixed me so um, I eventually got introduced to a workers um, workers rehabilitation program and what they taught me there is basically you've got to re-strengthen those muscles and before you even go to work you should actually be warming up to it you should be strengthening those muscles that you use in your body to do your job and right then and there it just it just clicked to me it was just it just made sense that you know like yeah it does make sense you know like if you're doing heavy lifting you, you have to use proper techniques and basically um, strength strengthening your body to perform those tasks and it's just all training and consistency and you can't just go out there cold and 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 not prepare for it so you know it's just like a mountain climber you gotta train to climb that mountain so i don't know if that uh anyways uh, okay <laughs> some of you sharing thanks for your comments i'll get to them later so anyways uh thanks very much uh let's Continue on with the stretches. We're gonna do a couple more. So this one, you just wanna lean forward, keep your legs straight. And if you can touch your knees, great. If you can touch your ankles, even better. And if you're really flexible, touch your toes. And if you feel super flexible, touch the floor. And either way, that's stretching out the back area, the lower back especially. Then you come back up, nice and, nice and uh, straight. Then the next one from here is left over right, straight down, center, and then we're going to go right and left. There we go, and now right over left, and then we're going to go center, and right, and left. And that pretty much does it for the stretches, you know, I do them pretty much the same every day. And again, uh, this flute music is my very own flute music, in case you guys are wondering who's playing. That's my own uh, flute album. It's actually from the Sacred Sweetgrass album. So if you get a chance to check out Dallas Arcan Sacred Sweetgrass, I, I, have, uh, I have a few flute albums out there and that's just one of them. So anyways, we get back into the powwow dance aerobics. So we'll get back into that here. Okay. Oh yeah, that sounds good. Okay, so now let's get back into some powwow dancing. We're gonna do a couple more songs now that we've warmed up and we did the stretch and we did the meditation part. And so now this is the this is the part where we're going to uh, actually do some some little bit more intensified dancing. For those of you that have weights i encourage you to use these while you're dancing these little two pound three pound weights 
but if you don't have access to them, uh, I only have one of these. Uh, otherwise, I'd use them. But uh, I used to have two of them. But somebody somebody lost it along the way. But anyways, but if you can't uh, get access to weights, I have a few life hacks that that could help you out if you want to if you want to incorporate some weights into your workout routine. I'd recommend some dictionaries because they're usually pretty heavy. And, uh, hey, hey, he's talking about my Oilers. Uh, <laughs> I knew somebody would say something. Anyways, this is my favorite team, and they're always going to be my favorite team until somebody comes up with another Gretzky. So, anyways, somebody made a, a Calgary Flames comment. And I'm like, oh, I'm kind of a Flames fan because I used to live in Calgary. I went to school down there. went to Mount Royal University and University of Calgary. Beautiful place. Blackfoot territory. I learned lots about the Blackfoot people. Anyways, I'm kind of a Flames fan. I'm a, I'm a closet fame, Flames fan, but I'm I'm just a diehard Oilers fan for life because we have Connor McDavid, we've had Wayne Gretzky, Mark Messier, some legendary hockey players. So until another team comes up with that kind of legendary hockey players, I'm sticking with Oilers for now. Anyways. Back to the workout, back to the workout. You guys distracted me with that one. <laughs> yeah, okay. So if you don't have weights, then grab some dictionaries, grab some books or whatever, or grab some soup cans. And I learned that back in the day when I was a kid, I used to watch this show called Body Break. And um, I remember watching that and they had some life hacks on there. And then this is way before the internet. I, I remember, I, I don't know whatever happened to that show. But it used to be a fitness show I used to watch when I was a kid. And I used to love that show. It was it was cool. They were, they were such good, friendly, approachable people. And that's kind of what inspired me to do this powwow dance aerobics. And I kind of keep that in mind, in the back burner of my mind. So anyways, let's get into some dancing now. We're going to do some combinations. And um, keep in mind, when I do the, the counting, we're actually exercising the brain when we do that. Because that's dancer terminology. And that's how it helps organize and coordinate our dance moves when we do them in clusters of fours and eights. So those eight counts basically constitute for four bars, or for actually for two bars of music. But powwow music is very different from, from the uh, current, like the contemporary Western, whatever kind of music, the pop music. It's very different from that. So anyways, here we go. Let's get dancing. Let's get grooving. Let's get moving. Okay, start out nice and small with that basic step. Always start out with the basic step. Even if you're an experienced powwow dancer. I've been dancing for almost 30 years and this is how I stay in shape. This is how I practice. So I do this, I do strength training, weight training, jogging, all the above. So. Let's get dancing, let's get grooving, and follow along as best as you can. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.
Oh, that felt good. Quick little water break. Wow, we got some blackstone here. Hoka. Oh, Copyright issues anymore, I hope. Anyways, how we do it at powwows is if you want to honor a drum, you go and give them a tobacco offering and maybe a gift. And a lot of times that's how they honor drums. And they also have other ways too, like some dancers will carry an eagle whistle and they'll blow a whistle on the drum. That's the highest honor you can do for a drum as a dancer or they even stop the powwows just for that, just for the whistle song. They'll do, they'll do four starts after the contest song of four starts. So they have to sing like double, right on cue, right on point. And that's the best way you can honor a drum as a dancer. And some dancers actually use um, eagle fan too. They'll go with the eagle feather fan and they'll go and touch the drum with the eagle feather. So not anybody can do that. You have to be, you have to earn that right through many years of training and powwow dancing and you know, just being cultured to it. And it's one of the highest, most honorable things you can do for the drum, to honor the drum. And all of it is about healing. It's about healing the self and healing, healing for our families, for our communities. That's really what it's about. You know when you think about it so you know I just thought I would share that little bit of information a little bit of culture with you if uh, you know like for those of you that are interested in learning more and more about the culture you know I'm always learning something new too every day myself you know I'm you know I've, I've been dancing for a very long time but I, I don't know it all and I, I'm always learning something new something something is always being taught to me or being shared to me that I need to know or I need to be reminded of. So anyways, I just thought I would I would uh, share that with you. So thanks everybody for joining along and we'll do, uh, we'll finish off with a couple more songs and then we'll do a cool down and it's Friday today. So you know, I, I know you guys are busy. So thanks for joining along and let's keep dancing, let's keep grooving. All right, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four. 
So you just step out, slide, step out, slide. singers that Indian country has are always at, you know, that's what makes the powwow is the groups, the people, the drumming, the singing, the dancers, the MC, and so you know, there's a powwow going online right now, it's called the Social Distance, Social Distance Powwow, and if you haven't subscribed yet, check it out because they're free to join. You just got to hit the subscribe button on the social distance powwow and today is actually roll call so all day they want people to basically share whether they're a dancer a singer a drummer a spectator a comedian an artist whatever it doesn't really matter and that's what the social distance powwow is all about it's all about going there to share and to represent yourself and just to engage in some powwow culture now, for those of you that have been following along with this class, thank you so much for your support. Now we're doing the cool down, so notice as I'm still dancing here, it's part of the cool down process and you can't just stop. Like if you're working out, you can't just stop. You gotta think of it like a racehorse. A racehorse is racing the race as fast as they can and as hard as they can and that's what, you know, you gotta think of dancing that way too. So. Thanks for joining me for the cool down because we do the warm up, we do the stretch meditation, and then we do some dances, and then we just gradually cool ourselves down. So if you ever been to powwows and you see the powwow dancers, they go and dance their contest, they'll dance two to three songs. Sometimes they'll get an encore, and you, you won't see them stop after they get off the dance floor, they'll actually go walk around. And that's where some of the best powwow snagging happens. Hey, just kidding. <laughs> But no, really, um, back when I was a kid, that's what they called snagging. When you walk around the outside of the arbor, you're just trying to look real good. But you're all like, like, hey, hey, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> that's part of powwow culture is the snagging part. Snagging, if you're not familiar with the term, basically what it means is like, it's like the Tinder of powwow. It's like you're, you're going there to to court, I guess, to 
to look handsome, to look beautiful, and to hopefully find your mate, your future wife or your future husband. That's what snagging's all about. So <laughs> that's how we all got here. Somebody snagged and then, you know, that's how we got made. Anyways, I <laughs> uh, thought I'd share a little bit of that. Oh, wow. Today was a really good workout. I'm fully sweating all over the place. <laughs> uh, all right on. Well, some of you haven't even heard of what uh, snagging. So I have a girlfriend, so I ain't, I ain't on here to snag. But, uh, you know, I'm just on here for power dance aerobics. You know, I, I do have a girlfriend, and I am very happy with my girlfriend. And, you know, things are good. And that's all I can wish for and hope for for anybody. So I can just share that happiness with, with each and every one of you. Maybe someday you'll meet her. Maybe she'll come on, on the channel with me. I don't know. She's kind of shy, though. She's kind of like does her own thing, and I respect that, you know. So, ladies, I am not single. <laughs> and even if I was, I wouldn't tell you. No, I'm just kidding. Anyways, thanks again for joining another version of Pow Wow Dance Aerobics. And... For those of you that are new to it, I do this every day and I post a video every day. I post this on my channel every day and I'm currently trying to grow my YouTube channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet to my YouTube channel, check it out, Dallas Arcand on YouTube. That's D-A-L-L-A-S-A-R-C-A-N-D on the, well, same way it's spelt on this page. And there's actually a link on the top of this page that you're viewing right now. There's a link there. You can just click on it and go and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm currently trying to get to a thousand so I can live broadcast to there because I know not everybody has Facebook and they want to engage in powwow dance aerobics and, and work out with me as well. So I'm trying to make that available. So thanks very much for your support as always. Your comments are always welcome. And I am... I'm just very thankful and grateful for each and every one of you, your comments, the daily activities we share together. And this is an ongoing thing that I've committed myself to. And it's something I'm very passionate about. I'm very passionate about powwow. Dancing has literally saved my life, has healed me, has healed my family, has healed many people I've danced for over the years and I totally believe in it. So that's why I do it on a regular basis. And you know, I've seen all the good that it does for people. It does for me and even the young people out there. You know, I've influenced a few young dancers out there like Thielen Kick No Sway and James Jones, just to name a few. And then seeing the, the, the evolution of Angela Gladue, like where she started, she kind of came from, you know, the rough parts of Edmonton. And now she's like, she's like a big star and, and, and I'm really proud of them. And, 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 you know, many, many others out there, there's many stories and you can find them on the social distance powwow. You can find them on, on many of the different indigenous sites out there. So thanks again for for, for doing that so uh, to answer your question will I be on tomorrow yes I'm on every day every morning around this time Indian time sometimes it's 7 30 sometimes it's 8 just depends on my internet signal or if I'm ready you know because I do this class for free nobody's pressuring me to do this I'm not getting paid for this so all it costs you is your time so again thanks again for your support so at the very least, uh, if you find this message of value or this, this class of value, at the very least, like, like my page or subscribe to my YouTube channel or uh, share the video or, you know, just, just send a, a, a comment or a good message and I'll certainly uh, just give me a little bit of time to get back to you and I'll get back to you as soon as I can, as, as promptly as possible. So with that, you guys have a beautiful day and until then, you guys keep fit. Have fun, be safe, and until next time, we'll catch you again, and have a nice day. Peace out.